Okay, here I am trying to run four and a half volt Christmas lights from batteries that go down very quickly. Each battery is 1.19 volts, which is pretty poor. I mean, I've only had these on for a few days, you know, and they're down already. So what I'm going to do is show you how we could connect these to a USB. Um, well, this is how I did it, and it worked well. So first of all, I find an old cable, cut the wires, strip them back, and I'm going to measure the voltage. And I'm getting 5.14 volts, a bit higher than 4.5, but by the time it's loaded up, it'll be perfect. And the nice thing about this is it's nice and safe. I mean, you can run... Uh, you know, five volt cables all over the garden. You know, I'm, I'm going to run 30 meters of cable, so uh, I certainly need need it to be safe. So if I just flip this off, you can see where the batteries normally go. I just flip this off and find out the positive and negative. It's important that you get the polarity right, otherwise, you know, something will break, uh, and that'll be the end of them. So, it's worth using a, an iron that's not too powerful, a soldering iron, you know, not too powerful. And uh, what you want is uh, good connections and run the wire outside the box. Uh, you'll see how I do that. I've got a positive and negative wire so I don't get them mixed up. Positive's normally red, but uh, the USB cable was different. So you have to measure which is positive and negative. So I'm just doing this in the boiler room, and uh, it's a, a spare yeah, room and, uh, attached to the house where the boiler is, because you know, it's not the kind of thing you probably want to do in the house. The smell of solder and solder flux makes a bit of a mess as well. So this is me in pure geek mode. I like fitness and everything but you know sometimes I, I go into to geek mode and here it is so what I'm going to do now is just uh, <coughs> make sure that the lights do actually work from the USB and take the risk and switch on see what happens just put some tape around the wires you don't want the wires touching this is just temporary for testing but when I put it outside it'll be well wrapped up so there won't be any any problems yeah, look at that. Lights flashing. Oh, yes. Oh, look at that now. Isn't that bonnie? Yeah. And these lights are actually quite bright and went through batteries very quickly. Very quickly. So, so I'll just check the different modes. Make sure they all work. Oh, That's just working out fine, I think. Then what I have to do is connect a very long piece of cable onto that. Yeah. Then I have to make a hole, get the wires through the hole. That's working well. So there's the tool I'm using just to make a hole there, nice discreet hole, just big enough to get the wires through and have to, to seal up a little bit. So that, the idea is that, you know, you can easily adapt these boxes, you know, and, and revert back to batteries if you want without destroying the box. Put the lid back on, protect it. I could make a living out of this, you know. Not much, though. So I've got a few boxes that I want to connect to this uh, this USB. The USB adapter I'm using gives out about uh, 2 amps, so there's plenty of power there. Plenty of current, plenty of power. Fill it in the hole now. I just found some some old filler that was lying around. What you don't want is the water getting in there. 
as it does rain in the UK. And this is some old cable that I found out. It's just cable from old lawnmowers and things, and I'm just connecting it together. So what I want to do now is make sure that it does actually work along a long piece of cable. It's fine when it works in the on the bench bit over distance. Let's see if it works. Yes. No. Doesn't work. But there's a solution to this problem. What I did was I uh, uh, added a capacitor. And this is just an old capacitor I've found in a radio. It's 470 microfarads. I mean, it's not critical. I didn't do any measurements or calculations for this. But putting a capacitor across there should make it work. Now you have to make sure that the capacitor is the correct polarity and it's working. Hey, so that was about 30 metres there. Oh, look at that. Easy. Then all I have to do is tape it all up nicely and make sure no water gets into any of the cable connections. Tape up the capacitor because it's going to be lying outside. And of course, this is just temporary after. Christmas this all gets taken down and goes back in the box until next year. This is the other box that I'm filling in now, filling the hole. Just wait till it dries, put it outside and that's it. Awesome. So that's about it and that's how to run Christmas lights, 4.5 volt Christmas lights from USB.